Hello, everyone. We're glad to have you today as we prepare to start a, a Digi Chick mystery card. So each of the ladies were assigned three different things to do to, to use while they're making their cards. So we're excited to see what they've come up with. All right, we're going to start with Linda. You want to introduce yourself and tell them a little something about Easter that you enjoy. Uh, well, my name is Linda from Maryland. And what I enjoy most about Easter is, is new life. I, I love the fact that um, yeah, I'm a Christian and I, I just love everything about um, Jesus. Uh, after the third day, he rose again from the dead. And um, I'm, I'm happy to say that. All righty. Okay, next we got Bernie. Uh, hi, I'm Bernie. I'm in Melbourne in Australia. It's now 6 a.m. for me on a Monday morning. Um, Easter for me is catching up with family. Uh, my three children are spread out um, all across the state. So we only really get all together at um, you know special occasions. So this weekend will be one of those. All right, then we got Stephanie. Hi, I'm Stephanie and I live in England. It's eight o'clock at night. It's pouring down and blowing a gale. <laughs> And I love Easter for being together with my family. Um, a bit like Bernie, they're all over the place, so it's nice when we can all get together. We go to church together, Easter, uh, and it's just lovely having family together. All righty. Uh, Patty Ann's here with us. She's just like me. We're kind of in the background a little bit, but she'll be coming on shortly. All right. You ladies ready to get started? Yep. yep. All right, here we go. All right. So you in the audience, if you'd like to maybe um, leave a comment about what you enjoy most about Easter. We'd enjoy reading them. So this, this challenge, we had come up with um, a little game, something kind of like tic-tac-toe, but we had 12 different things that you can use for card making. And each lady had to um, choose, had them numbered one to 12, and they had to choose numbers, three of them. So, and they each don't know what the other one chose. Looks like Linda's doing some uh, shading. Ink <laughs> shading. Yeah, I couldn't think of what that was. Yeah. It's really pretty, Linda. So, are you going to tell us what they chose, Tammy? Or um, how yeah, do you want to do it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can, I just wonder. We can let the cat out of the bag now. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Or we can tell you. Oh, you can tell them what you chose. Yeah. Go ahead, Linda. Uh, well, one of my one of my three was uh, embossing. So I have embossed these uh, clouds over the uh, back um, the back of my card. This is like the backdrop for my card. Aww. Anyway, that's, it. Oh, that's pretty. So I embossed this way, and I also embossed. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Lord. Well, I can't find the other one. I hope I can find it by the time I need it. Mm. You, can, you can go to somebody else. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bernie, what, what was the three you chose? My three were nesting shapes, uh, the color blue, and ribbon or twine. Oh, cool. So... I've gone predominantly, I think I've covered my all my bases, but I'm just at the moment putting some um, cotton in to make a spinning card. So 
I just oh, wanted wow. to do this. I wanted to do this now so that the hot glue dries before I get to the end. Okay, Stephanie, you want to tell the three things you got? Yes, um, I had to use a cutting machine. It didn't say whether it was a die cutting machine or a digital cutting machine, but a die cutting machine to make a shaped card and the colour pink. And the only thing I found a bit difficult was the colour pink because for me, Easter, it's daffodils and bluebells, so it's sort of been yellows and, and blues, but um, I think I've coped okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I only told you one of mine. Okay, Linda. Okay, so I had embossing, and then I also had uh, dimensionals, and the third one was stenciling. Oh, wow. So. I'm glad I didn't get yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want stenciling either, Bernie. No. <laughs> oh, well, let me show you. Here's, I stenciled this. Oh. oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. I got that uh, glimmer paste on it. This is called, um, this is this is the color I used. It was, uh, it's the color actually is called Yellow Limes Opal Polish. It's by Cosmic um, Shimmer. And um, where's, let me show you the other one. I was really happy with this one. If I, can. I better be able to find it because it's the main part of my card. <laughs> <laughs> I think that threw me off so much when my camera wouldn't work. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, Stephanie, what you doing? You got fall? Um, yeah, my shake card is actually going to be a flower pot. So oh. when we first started, I've just embossed this. It was just a piece of, um, of card and I've just embossed it, which is going to go on the front. But it will have a little pocket so that something else is going to fit inside it when I've finished. So I'm just actually doing the inside of the card first, which is foil. Um, and then I've just cut out and embossed this little white piece that will, will go on on the top of there. Oh, that's pretty. Um, and then there will be a cross inside it, Easter blessings, and, oh, wow. and a little flower. <laughs> Oh, pink. That is pretty. I've gone it's with pink. I've done the best to go with the pink theme. <laughs> and what are you up to, Bernie? I've got my ribbon component. So I've got blue and white ribbon. So I cut some card on the silhouette. I made a rectangle and then I made little rectangles and sort of thread my ribbon through and that's just a feature of the card because I needed something ribbon um, and it's the blue as well so I'm just threading that through at the moment and then I'm going to put that behind and then glue those bits down but I'm oh, just going to. Oh wow that's pretty I love it. I really never thought about making that for myself. You know, I've seen the dies where they have the ribbon that goes through, but that's a neat idea. Yeah, I just did little rectangles in silhouette and then kind of spread them out evenly. And yeah. I had a couple of goes at it because I thought in my head I needed an odd number of these when I actually needed an even because otherwise I ended up with the ribbon on this end not being able to be tucked under so I had to so it took a little bit of trial and error but we got there in the end yeah, I wondered about that how you knew how many to make or what? I didn't and it yeah. was quite <laughs> funny because I actually started with squares and mm -hmm. he looked at it and he said that's not going to work and I said why and he said, he said you need the width of the ribbon but he said otherwise you're going to have it all it did it was just there was only two bits of ribbon popping up so he helped me out. He said, no, you need little um, rectangles, not squares. Cool. Okay. <laughs> that was your husband that helped? I know. He's very good. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All righty. Here's the stencil I used. Oh, wow. Did you make the stencil? 
No, but you can. And actually, I have some examples of stencils that I found in my stash. Um, you can make stencils out of um, chipboard or thick paper. I have a whole stack of these. Um, you know, I was going to use, you know, use a few. Oh, yeah. There's so many. But anyway, I'm, I'm using this one to show you what I what I did. I've already made the piece I'm going to use for my card. I don't know if you can see in the in the light. Oh yeah, it's really pretty, shiny. Wow, what is that, Linda? It, What's the green? The green is the um, is this the um, opal polish I was telling you about. Ah, okay. Yep. And actually, you guys, I wish you could feel this. I wish we had feel a vision, because. Um, <laughs> If you run your hand across this, it this it looks three dimensional. When you're it actually face to face, yeah, it does. I thought it was three dimensional. Is it yeah. not? It, it's and I, I just love it. It's just so yeah. fun. So cool. when I liked it so much. I went back and ordered more of this. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Stop. Just remember to put you some of that. Um, Saran wrap or whatever over it so it don't dry out like oh, yeah, yeah, I don't want it no. drying out. I know. And I make sure that I really clean these sponges, but wow. Oops. She also has a link to where you get it. It's like six dollars a bottle. It's six fourteen at um art artists supply source. 614. I went on Joanne's website. They had some, but not very many colors. And there's a coupon until the um, end of this month. It's actually until J April 3rd. Um, if you spend $25, you get free shipping. Oh, that's good. So I, I, I ordered some bottles from them too, because I figured if it's $6.29 at Joanne's, um, you know, I'm still saving all that shipping. That I had to pay for the other. See, there it is. I just peeled this oh, yeah. off. I don't see it. Is that a slow drying or a quick drying window? Um, it's pretty quick drying. Yes, but I did it ahead of time just because I didn't know if I was going to yeah, mess yeah. it up yeah. on, on you know in the show. Can you see? Oh yeah, that's there? really pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go cut this one out, and what I how I'm going to cut this? See this? I'm going to take this little die that I have and I'm going to make like a little lacy edge. Oh wow. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be All right back. Oh Stephanie, that's pretty. Pink flowers again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I see the back end of a bunny. <laughs> yes, you do see the east. I've got bunnies that are facing the right way, but I've just made this little one. Um, I've just used a, a, a circular die and little oval die just to make his sort of um, whoops, his feet and um, stuck him together. So he's going to actually look like, when I finish with my plant pot, flower pot, he's going to look like he's peeping over the top to, to try and find things in the That's plant so pot. Cute. <laughs> He's going, to sit on, he's going to sit on on there and he's going to look like he's he's having a look inside <laughs> yeah that's adorable and i've made um i've made the card at the front to say it's just um a plain white card but um for the shape i've um i've made a sort of a the cardboard color and i've embossed that so that will sit on the top and then this will actually push inside from the front oh. and, and we'll have flowers on it hopefully <laughs> i didn't do a, a demo before i had a good idea what i was going to do and i thought oh, it'll, it'll turn out right so i'm just talking oh, it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Linda's scrubbing hers. Oh, wow. I am. I'm get all the bits out. <laughs> What's that tool, Linda? Yeah. It's yeah, called a, weed, that? it's a weeding tool. Oh. And it really can, you know, your, your paper can really can take a lot, a lot of abuse. <laughs> really? I guess. 
yeah, I, I was real timid about it at first when I first got this, but then I let it go. <laughs> okay, that's good. And this piece is going to be um, three and a half inches tall for my card. I'm going to cut oh, it off. Wow. Linda always brings all these interesting tools in. Also, Linda's the tool queen. Right. Yeah. And you know, Linda, I've got one and I never use it. Oh, great. <laughs> My husband actually loves me to give him the pokey tool and he's, he always says, I'll do that for you. And he sits there quite happily <laughs> poking them, <laughs> poking them out. Wow, good on him. Yeah. There's a lot to poke. I just I just have to eat that one. <laughs> Speaking of the pokey tool, I was going to show you guys something that Tammy showed me this week. I didn't know. You know, you guys have this tool, right? But the sticky on the end, the pick me up yeah. tool from um silhouette. Silhouette, yeah. But I didn't know that this part came apart like this thing comes out. And there's a real pointy pokey thing in here. I had no, and you can turn yeah. it like that. Yeah. I had no idea that there was a pointy or pokey thing. I just thought it was either this thing with the flat or this what was sticky, and that was it. So yeah. I, we were like surprised, like, whoa, that comes out? <laughs> I think Silhouette might need to do a little bit more, a better job of explaining this tool, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Maybe exactly. everybody else knows. And this thing right here is something that the, some of us are going to make this week. It's a cute little thing. It's like a dollar fifty or something like that for the pattern, but it holds Cadbury eggs. I thought this was really cute. Could be something even if you work in an office or something like that. You could put on some of your, you know, office mates' desks or that kind of thing, or for a teacher or something like that. It's just it's cute. That's adorable. It's cute. So my point was we were going to get together and just create this live online. And if you wanted to grab the pattern i think i put it in the very beginning of the comments there you can see where the pattern is there's a boy one and there's a girl one so that's that it's pretty isn't it cute yeah it was fun and you've gone with the pink thing <laughs> oh, i did go with the pink didn't i <laughs> She's the she. so yeah she identifies as a she as well <laughs> <laughs> she has no that? doubt yeah, right. <laughs> because she is a she. She's a she and she's proud of it. <laughs> yeah. Roxana said she found out about the other end of the silhouette tool when she was doing rhinestones. Oh, really? Oh, I never, I did see, I didn't even know about that part. So you used it to push your rhinestones into place, Roxana? That would be handy. See? Oh, so so good we all get together. <laughs> I don't know about where you live, but it's been so rainy and dreary here lately. I've been down in the dumps with all this rain and junk. So that's another reason why we want to get together and craft together. Just hang out. It was funny. Yesterday I was watching a, uh, watching a podcast or something on YouTube. I don't know if you, any of you read out there. But there's some groups that get together and they just read together silently online. Oh. Like, wow. I sent the link to Tammy last night. Yeah. First they talked for a while. And then they said, okay, 20 minutes. They set a timer and you just watch them sitting there just like you girls here that we see on StreamYard. They were just sitting there with their books reading for 20 yeah. minutes. It was, it was like watching graph grow. <laughs> So it seems like everybody enjoys it. But yeah. Yeah. Janet says it's been dreary there too. Do any of you guys read out there? Tammy and I have been reading. I just got a Kindle, which I've never had before. I'm enjoying it. How did you make the transition pretty easily? I did, except the only problem is sometimes with the Kindle, I feel like I'm trying to turn the page with my hand. <laughs> it feels pretty real. I still like to hold a real book sometimes, but the um, case that I got from my Kindle, it's fat enough that it feels, the Kindle feels like the same heft almost as a real book. And and what's really nice is taking it outside. If it is sunny, huh, you can still read, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, I, there's nothing like this 
Good smell of a book, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> like the smell of book. And the bookstore. And... Yeah. Yeah, I have the uh, Kindle app on my iPad, but I mostly get books from the library off of their apps, um, Cloud Library and Hoopla. Right. And I download those books and read them. Do you read? Have can you read them on your Kindle app? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Or, yeah. Oh, okay. You can read some them. On of your Right. You can read them on your phone, but I don't want to read it on my phone. I'd rather read on the Kindle. Yeah, I, I don't read on my phone. I read them. I read them on the Kindle app sometimes on my right. iPad. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't either, but it's an option if you're like, you know, somewhere and you don't have your book with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Because it keeps it all synced, synchronized right. where you're exactly. at the same place. Yeah, I love that. Yes, so no there's matter a, what you have with you. you can convert that into, like, if you have, um, if you're instead of reading it, if you're somewhere, you can convert it to audio, an audio book. I think you can do that with pretty much all of them. Yeah, oh, you oh, can. Oh, what I've noticed that I could do, and I don't know what you guys are talking about, but what I do, what I did once, was I have one of those Alexas, and if I just say Alexa, read my book, uh -huh. she knows, you know, she starts right where I am and reads my book to me, and the and the voice is not bad. Wow. Yeah. On the Kindle app, it has the option for them to read it to you also. Oh, oh okay. Huh. But on the on the Hoopla and the library apps, you can actually download the audio books and they'll, you know, whoever is the narrator of that book will read it to you. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I've done that. So, so like it's not just, com, but not, you don't have to yeah, it's, it you know, library. Yeah. So here's my nesting shapes that I've used. So I'll, I use the, so this one here is the, I've print and cut this one and then, um, so it's got the scalloped edge and the, it's printed the stitch line. And then on the outside, on the foily part of the paper, it's got actual stitching and the scallop as well. So I've used oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love that bird. And they do uh, and they do have a new um uh, set of those nesting uh shapes on what is it, font bond uh font bundle dot net, is that it? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So that makes four volumes of them. And the last one is just different shapes, you know, but they're really neat. They're on sale for two fifty, or they were at the time I got them last week. Design okay. bottles, yeah. Okay. That's what Roxanne. Thanks, Roxanne. Oh, look at Linda's using the pick me up tool. Yeah. And I've got a. Um, I struggled to get this silhouette one. I've got a We Are Memory Keepers one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I wonder, does it thing. also pull apart? It looks exactly yep. the same. Yeah, it? it's got the bit here. This is a flat. And if you pull that out, then it's got the sharp, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dottie. Maybe that's the one we were talking about. You said there's a new one. Number five, is it? Or S? Linda, you've gotten ahead of us there. What have you done? Let's look at yours. Push it up just a little bit higher so we can see it. Look at all she's done. Oh, oh wow. This is just such a little part of it. I've got so much more to do. Oh, boy. So what are you doing? Looking for a specific egg? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for my old pink one. I like a certain size pink one there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I think this is this might be... Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> Where did you get? Did you download all, print out all those eggs, print and cut them all? Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Linda makes good use out of her stuff, that's for sure. I use it all the time. Right? Yeah. 
Now, I see some part of your greenery stuff hanging out down the bottom. Are you going to be cutting that off? Or? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, um, yeah, I'm going to cut that off. Okay, I just wondered. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to use these, but I love these little bunnies, but I, I decided to use the, um, so, wait a second, I, I had to make my bunnies both directions. That was kind of Oh, yeah. I had to remember to deal with that for uh, many of these things. i got to get my dimensionals. <laughs> Linda, show them your bunny you made out of circles, too. Oh, look at Stephanie's the one, oh. the one that I sent you? Yeah. Okay. Aww. Hey, oh, you. Oh, that's so <laughs> But look, at, look at look at these. Here's here's the part that I love about this. Come, come to the center. Do there you, you go. See, do you see the um the flat? What I put in the center of the flowers? Yes. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. I love these little things. Look. What are they? These are. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look how cute oh, they are. They're called. You can get them on eBay. Oh gosh, I knocked some out of here. That's okay. They're so teeny. You get like a thousand or more of them. For like a couple of dollars. Yeah, they're like two dollars a piece for a set. Mm -hmm. Cute. Thanks. Oh, put a big dimensional in the sky. Okay, I'm going back to see what Stephanie's up to. All right. Well, I've I've just molded these flowers a little bit, so I don't know whether you can see oh, them. They're beautiful. So they're raised, so they're raised up a little bit. And I'm going to put yes. this, like, this holds out, but um, I'm going to put more of these on to sort of build it up. And this little rabbit, I did one deliberately to show. I'm not putting it on flat because if it's flat like that, it just doesn't look sort of realistic enough. So what I've done with this one, but I'm going to do it. You look it's slightly curled i've got oh. all of the rabbits and i've gone like that to give it some shape oh. completely flat and the same with his ear so that you, instead of you having a completely flat rabbit he's right. just raised up a little bit and he looks nice oh, and raised up yes completely flat that makes a big difference just doing that yeah just, just giving it a little bit more life to it yeah um Let's see. Rosemary wants to know what those little flowers are called, Linda. I looked, and I think it, they're called Flower Rose for Bracelet Spacer Beads. No, mine were called um, sti uh, stickers. They were actually called stickers, and I had to read the description. It's a very thin piece of a resin flower. It's real, real, real thin, um, but they're resin. And yeah, that that's what you know. You sent me a link, and that's where I got that name. Oh, okay, okay. Well, good. And Roxanna said she just looked up the uh, stitched nesting shapes, the volume four fancy shapes, and they're still two dollars and fifty cents. Awesome. Yeah. What is, what what does that set have different? I don't know. I ha I haven't really looked at it. Um. Uh, it I it's got uh, tags. It's got um, oh, it's got really neat um, like what do you call it? You know, like you put your cinnamon on the different little shapes. Oh, it's got things like that. It's got an arrow. Ugh. I can't remember now, but they're really nice. It's got some scallop stuff in there. I made this sunshine with the with our uh, silhouette design. Business edition. Oh, let's see what Bernie's doing. She's got. Um, she's making a spinner card. I am. I've got this. This is the middle bit. So it's got another scallop edge there that I've tried to, um, a nesting shape that I've just cut the scallop part out of, and I'm trying to get. So I put my cotton on and pulled it tight. So I had it, I put the cotton on first and put it down with some hot glue because it, and it needs to be quite tight. 
and now I'm trying to get that just to tack with some um, the tape runner and now I'll put the glue on so I can attach the other piece. That's a bit tricky. It's tricky when you're doing it live as well, Bernie, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then that will attach. Then I've got the other piece here. Now this needs to sit first time go. <laughs> and there we go. Hopefully that will, that's uh, kind of lined up. And so I've used the centre of my, I've just shrunk the Easter so the, the blue part of my card, I just shrunk that down on silhouette and made it into a smaller one without the Happy Easter. So that should. Wow. There's, so there's my spinner. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, oh, really that's <laughs> Look, Bernie, I should have gotten blue too. <laughs> well, my foil's glaring. It's really pretty. We'll put that there for now. And then these are going to go on here. Yep. There goes it. I'll make my tape runner again. I just put a link for those shapes that we were talking about if you want to see what they look like in the comments. And this is what they look like here, just in case you're wondering. I think you can see my... Yeah, they had flowers and all kind of stuff in there. I saw the arrows, yeah, and clouds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and they rock, had clouds. Four leaf clovers. Yep. And it's really did you see neat. the 250, right? Yeah, 250. Okay, where's my stop share? There it is. Oh. You said you cut that sun with your silhouette. Yeah, well, I made it with the um, I made I took sir, you know, I took a circle. The shape. You know the shape, you the shape uh, tools that we have. Right. All the shapes and um, you know, put cut that. put put Ooh. one inside the other and and, there, and it created that. Oh. So I colored it. Uh, I oh, used a Y'all see what she means? Because she has that shape on the inside and the outside, right? Is that what you mean? Yes. And Did I, you do I, one and then subtract, or? Um, I, I no, I just I just welded them. I'm pretty sure I just oh. some, somehow okay. I can't I just can't remember right this second. Okay. But um, I graded. See, I used a gradient, oh, the gradient in the center. Yeah. Right. I didn't, I didn't use the gradient on the outside. Right. Yeah, that's really pretty. And so you made it a print and cut. I did. And then, yeah. see, I make, I, make, I make a lot of them in case I can make the card again. <laughs> Look at those. I was trying to push them over. I want to see them better in the middle. Look, I was going to use Oh, wow. Oh. I thought this was really pretty, too. You know, it is pretty. Make Very it round. Pretty. Here, here, yeah. here they are, um, Penny. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I used one on the front of this. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, like dandelions, kind of. They do, don't they? Yeah. Well, I hope people think nice. they're sunshines. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cute. I'm getting ready to foil something. I don't know if you want to. I'll, I'll show you if you want. Sure. Okay. Um, this cross is going to go here. Let's see. Push it up, please. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, uh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> Roxanna says, that's looking so cute, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> oh.
Oh, shoot. Well, here it is. Here's what, here's the, um, here's what I'm going to put through my laminator. I used um, just a piece of uh, copy paper, and then I'm using this cardstock as a shim to put a little bit more pressure on this, um, on this piece that I'm going to. This is my, this is, he has risen just as he said from Matthew 28. I'm, I, I put this, I put the, um, used a font in our business edition, wrote the verse, and then I um, printed it with the um, laser printer, and then I cut this out with a, a, a die that I have. And then I decided to make it um, a goal. Let's see if this works. Why did you feel you needed a shim? Have you already tried it without, and it didn't work that well? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, and I, what I've been doing is I, I, I kind of rub, rub down the the um, surface of the piece I'm trying to laminate. Now I'm going to put it through the machine. It'll only take a second, but you can get it to somebody else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who else wants to show something? Um, I can. I use these two bits of this foil paper came out of the middle of that, oh, so yes. I didn't want to waste them. So I've just put them over here. And then I cut a different one to try at first, and that's why I've got two. One oh, from okay. the side and then one from, yeah, so that's the middle of my card. And then, so, yeah, so that's just the leftover nesting shaped scallop from here. <laughs> wow. Great. Yeah. You girls oh, are so amazing. <laughs> I, and I love that ribbon, Bernie. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's pretty. So is that foil sort of a grayish blue color? Yeah, it's like a tealy blue color. I'm not okay. sure. Oh, yeah. oh, I see it when the light hits it. Yeah. And, and, it looks and like the ribbon, navy. And the, the ribbon, ribbon too? The ribbon's navy and white. Okay. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm ready to do this foil re reveal if you want. <laughs> we are ready for the reveal. <laughs> Keep Here's your fingers the reveal. Down. You think it's going to be pink or, or blue? <laughs> yeah, right. It better be gold. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, nice. Yep. You see, you can see that every, you know, everything was, that's what's left behind. Right. Yeah. So what did what, you print the card with again, Linda, please? Um, I just put the, I, um, you know. Used laser that, printer. A laser, uh, laser printer. printer. Yeah. Yeah. And what font do you remember? Um, no, I'm sorry. Okay. I've got to start no, no. writing this stuff down. I, I really do apologize because I know that if I was watching, I would want to know things like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Roxana says it turned Whoopsie. out great. We done that at the same time. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay, let's see. I love that sun. I love all the colors. Pastelli for Eastry. Okay, let's check out Stephanie. Oh, look at those Aww. bunny rabbits. Okay. So those rabbits are beautiful. Rabbits all over. This is um, that's the piece that's inside it that you pull that pulls out and says Merry oh. Easter. Oh. And um, with the flowers on. So sweet. Oops. That goes back inside there. And hold up your bunny rabbits so they can see them, because I'll I'll let y'all know that we're going to give you the link of where you can get those bunny rabbits for free. Mm. And, the, and, the flowers, and the flowers as well. I got the flowers. And the flowers as well. Look that how rabbit. cute. That let me see. Oh, there. Look at that one. I love that one with the little. Yeah, and there's a little one as well. The same that's yeah. sort of facing downwards as well. Yeah, they were oh, all so all, cute. all free off the same site. Right. Oh wow. Beautiful. All right, so we'll be going there shortly. <laughs> Do I remember where it is? I mean, not well, where it is, but where it is on my 50 tabs I have open is what I mean. <laughs> we all like something for nothing, don't we? <laughs> yes. It's yeah. going to be burning. Oh. Matter of fact, I think I'll wait to the very end because I'll show how to use this. Because when you download it, it's an Acrobat file, right? That's right. You yes. have to be careful yeah. when you use those. How to use Why? them. Why? How come? Uh, because you have to bring it in as a, cer a certain way or it won't work. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it actually, when I bring it into Silhouette, it asks me, do I want to download it as a vector and then it works fine, but you can show them properly how to do it then. Yeah. Because said there, there was such a lot of things on there that I thought it was worth a share. Right. Well, it's, I'm so happy that you did that. Yeah. So this scallop is out of the front of my card. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but I am. So I'm going to the, Oh, look at that. So there's the front oh, of my card. Yeah. And the scallop, <clears throat> the scallop that cut out of the foil I had left over. So I'm putting it oh. in here, which will sit behind my spinner. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Oh, brilliant. So I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but I am. Oh, yeah, is your, pretty. Is the front of your card sparkly? Yep, it's got, so it, what, it was print and cut, and then I've just put glitter on the, yeah. Oh, yeah. On, yeah, so I put glitter on, some glitter glue on the um, bits that were, um, and then on the Happy Easter's got glitter. I don't know if you can. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. What do you, yeah, what do you mean, glitter glue? Show. Do you have it right there that you can show us what you mean? You yep. use glitter glue. It's it's this one's an Australian one, but it's just called this one's called Kindy Glitz, and it's just it's glitter glue. It's got glitter and I'm guessing it's glue. Uh, do you think it's just like our whatever they're called stickles? <laughs> stickles? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's just yeah suitable as an art glue and collage or paper cardboard etc huh. it's water based comes off in the wash yeah so it's just oh okay water yeah based. just glue with some glitter in it it comes oh, in all yeah. different colors but because this was blue i've just gone but it was interesting i don't know if you can pick it up this the when i put it on this blue here it almost became like a dark greeny color i see oh. that yeah <laughs> really pretty yeah so whatever's in that blue color picked up the green yeah. when i put the clear on it it picked up a green color gorgeous that is so cool oh boy i'll tell you <laughs> hmm. so well, linda I wanted, you, I wanted to show you these little flowers that i made I made some little teeny tiny toys. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and, and, and I and I used like that um, the nouveau drops for the, the the tippy tops of the tulips, and I'm just going to cut out maybe three and put them in. This is the back of the card. Actually, it could be the front too. Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to just snip so, off a few of these and and place them in the grass above here. So what do you? Oh, that's the what do you mean? You you made them. What do you mean you made them? What did oh, you do? I, I used, um, I'll show you. It's, um, where is that little thing? Hold on. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. Um, here is what I made them with. Oh, okay. Nice. Punch. It's a Martha. Is that Martha Stewart. Okay. I thought maybe it was. Yeah. You can't even buy her punches anymore, right? They're no, I just get, I used to get those on eBay a lot before I became, okay. became a serious um, card maker, right? Yeah, I, I bought quite a few in the past before we had machines, and they're really expensive. Oh, but when yeah. you can really get some good deals on eBay now. I'm, oh. I'm going back when I first got them before I had a cutting machine, and they would probably be about 20 pounds or something like that. They were really expensive. Wow, that is expensive stuff. Yeah, you know, for the ones like that, that you could do a border and it was continuous. Um, but that was before I knew about cutting machines where to do something like that was something special, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to nip and get some transfer tape because I forgot to bring it in. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't find my reverse tweezers in this mess. Oh, here they are. I was going to say, Stephanie was using some, I think. She might, no, it looks like she's got regular tweezers down there on the lower left of her. <laughs> she thought I saw her with reverse <laughs> borrow them, right? Yeah, reach across there and get stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished with yours, Barney? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I'm just putting some Easter eggs on this side now. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I knew I wouldn't finish. Mm. You all right? No, I didn't. I just had to glue. Linda, don't stress.
John wants to know if you made your multicolored paper, Linda. That's what, what I don't understand. You're talking about the holographic paper. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't make that. You have to, I buy that when that's on sale. They, the Joanne's had a, a sale a couple weeks ago. You buy one piece, you get one free. So this is $1.99 a sheet. So I got, um, I got three, I got three sheets. I love that pastel color of that. I've not seen that like that before. Mm -hmm. It's Perfect pretty. for Easter or spring, I guess I could say, or summer. These little these little tulips are so little. Ooh. But I wanted to add just a little. So Stephanie, splash you're putting. You you've cut yours out of vinyl stuff. I've I've cut the Easter blessings out of vinyl. Yeah. And I've okay. deliberately got a piece of transfer tape that's quite been used quite a bit because I know from experience in the past, when I've tried to transfer something onto paper, it sticks to it and it can tend to tear the paper. So I always use one that's that's had quite a lot of use so that it's not as sticky. Yeah. So I hope it picks it up. I'm no, going to say at this point, I'd be scared if I was live. I'd be like, oh, no. no. You know, it's, I'm going to have to go and have a look again because I know what I've done. I've got ordinary transfer um, and it doesn't transfer glitter very well. You've got to use the one that's. Yeah. Different. I know so, Cricket's got one that that's the only thing that I've found that would yeah. make it easy. Sometimes if you actually bend it, turn it on its side, it'll, it will work. So I'm just going to try that and see if I can do it like that. So what did you all say that sometimes you have to use because my computer did a little hiccup and I didn't hear it's jump or something? Uh, Silhouette makes one. That, I mean, uh, Cricket makes one that's uh, the strong kind. It, and you better yeah. not make the mistake and put it on regular vinyl. Oh, my you gosh. Can't get it off. It's yeah, so strong. It's for, yeah, it, it's for um, this glitter stuff. But, um, you know, I, I figured out when I done glitter and didn't have that kind of stuff in me, if you take like that little pointy end of your tweezers and get it started, then it, it comes up better. Does it right? Well, mm -hmm. I love it. That's, and that's what I did. I took the tweet, you know, I took the tweezers and then just got a little edge of it. And once you get it going, it seems like it'll come up better. Well. And the nice thing is, uh, Tim, if it's uh, handwriting script rather than what she's getting, each one of those little letters is going to need some. Oh, yeah. 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 The Lord loves to try it. <laughs> Gonna adding a bow. Bernie's adding a bow to hers. Yep, add up some twine. So I've gone with whoop, don't drip everywhere. So I've gone for ribbon and twine. Oh, so this wow. is just uh, paper twine. Hmm. So remind me, what were your three things that you had to do? Mine were nesting shapes, blue, and ribbon or twine. Oh, wow. So you get an A++ for ribbon and twine. Yeah. So, yeah. There's oh, it's beautiful. Change this around. Oh. Wind it up. Jeez. Honestly, and then close it over, push it up. So then now, okay, so there you go. Great. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, and then the person opens beautiful. it and then it spins. Oh, oh that is gorgeous! Oh, oh wow. So how did you do your happy Easter text over there? That's uh, print and cuts the same one as on here. It was just a, I found it on Creative Fabrica. It was just a, um, a stamp and then I changed the colours on the front to the white and inside it, I just print and cut that and then used the nesting shape around it. Wow, beautiful. I love the pop of colour on the left too with those eggs. and the, With the eggs, yeah. So. Yes, that's beautiful. So that is, and then I've got this bit left over. I'm not sure if I'll put that on the back, maybe for a sentiment, but I might print. I might print something else, or I might just leave it on the back. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Wow. Because they're otherwise. I mean, you could write anywhere. Oh sure, that's just beautiful. Love it. 
And the paper again that you use, the metallic, is it metallic cardstock? Yeah, just or foil uh, metallic. I'll just grab it in a minute. It's a okay. It's just from our Kmart. I don't know if you have. It's a it's just a foil paper. Uh huh. Paper or card like cardstock? You mean? No, nah, it's very thin. It's oh um, wow. Huh. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's it so is. pretty. Nice. It is. <laughs> And for the, anybody that joined us late, what she did was she made rectangles on her card base, and that's what she threaded her ribbon through. She yep. just had the machine cut the rectangles, and she did an even number, right? No, yes, even. Even number, mm -hmm. right. Because if she, she was going to do odd at first, but then realized it wouldn't quite work out it right. Wouldn't go around the, the ribbon around the back. Stuck up this way, so then I glued it down. Um, so it. this is, it's, a, it's just metal, A4 metallic paper. Okay. And it comes in beautiful silver, pink, purple, wow. um, gold, yeah, yeah. coppery, huh. pink, wow. rose gold. And and the other really good thing about it, it comes with this really mm -hmm. lovely um, acetate sheet that I'll use. It doesn't come, it's not meant to come with, like it's just because it's got the hole there. So you Oh, it's, it. yeah. Right. <laughs> so when I always look now for bits of when I get packing or something, packaging, because they usually come with bits of plastic that you can use for anything with acetate. Right. And you taught us that tip of you leaving our um, embossing, not embossing, laminating. Laminating, the laminating yeah. For using like that as well. Nice. Love it. Okay. Well, that's mine done. Looks like hey. Stephanie's got a new scene down there. Stephanie, do they say done and dusted in the UK? Have you heard? Is that a saying that people say a lot? Done and dusted? It's not? an Australian thing. We do. Oh, is that done right? Australian. Oh, done and dusted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> done and dusted. Right. Because this one exercise class I watch sometimes when they're done, they say done and dusted. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, done and that's it. I like it. Oops, Must be off getting something. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Linda's up to. So we're back, Linda. <laughs> Hi. I just put together the other part of the card. Jeez, look at this. <laughs> it's two in one. Oh. Oopsie. I think I need to take card less making classes from every one of these ladies. <laughs> I mean, like individual. Oh. We ought to have that retreat. That would be so much fun. There you go. Though that, that retreat we were supposed to have, right? That COVID got. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bernie can come from the. Yeah. Australia. We're, not, we're not allowed out of our country, though, at the moment. All right. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever be allowed out. Oh my gosh. Although we are COVID free where I live. So in Victoria, we've had 30 days now of um, no cases. So we're, oh, wow. oh, we're, classed as, we're classed as having eradicated or eliminated, whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, Queensland had one case over the weekend, which has caused a bit of grief, but. So where I am, we're down to only masks now on public transport. That's pretty much our own restriction now. So not in restaurants or stores or anything? Nope, nope. that came off Friday. Nice. Now, did you get the vaccine? Not yet. I'm in Category 2. We've got oh, it by okay. category. So it was one, 1A, one 1B. I'm in 2A. Oh, okay, so you must be a youngster. 
No. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not in the um, – I think it was over 70 is 1A. So oh, okay. nursing homes, frontline workers, nursing homes, um, uh, people in hotel quarantine, and I, there's another category. They're still going through the nursing homes at the moment. So oh. um, – and then it'll become – Two way in that a lot. Some of our um, we've just started making our own um, vaccine in Australia, but some of the AstraZeneca that we were getting, I think from Italy, ended up going to Papua New Guinea, which is up off the coast of Australia because they got hit quite bad. Ah, so some of ours. Hmm. That is so pretty, Linda. Look at that thing. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to make my grass because I was going right. to tuck some eggs in the, in the grass. See? So. Yes. That's beautiful, Linda. Thank you. Right. I've seen grass being made. Have you got, um, I don't know what you call them. They're, they're called salad scissors. And they're oh, like, no. <laughs> uh, they're like, I seen them yesterday at Hobby Lobby. They got like eight blades in them. Yeah, and you cut. You can just get a bit of green card and you cut into them. I haven't got any. I've, I've seen people use them on YouTube like and stuff. Yeah, oh, Linda's got. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Linda. Wait, let me solo you and get a piece of card and let us see what they cut. Like what happens when you cut? Oh, right. I've, got, I've got to put this grass on before the glue dries. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. We'll we'll exit your soul and let me know. And yeah, they're, 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 they're made for salad for things like herbs and that people. But then they've now crossed over into the craft world. But oh, if you wow. get them, apparently you can still get the salad ones cheaper than what the craft ones are. Obviously. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, These were so. salad ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want to check out what Stephanie's doing. So oh, I'm still. I've, I've got this far. My card's oh. Um, oh, beautiful. Crossing and it's flowers. So pretty. <laughs> but you're and, still having a struggle with and that, that. And this bit's done. So all I've got to do now oh. is that took it. I'm just doing my best now to get this Easter blessing. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's just not be, behaving, is it? <laughs> no. Can you remember that time you had a video once and we and it could not yes. off? Yeah. I'm sure I've had many of them, and if I don't have them, I I cut that part out before I put the video up. In fact, if <laughs> you don't want to watch me for two hours trying to. Oh. If I had any sense, I would have done it before, wouldn't I? So I've I've been and got. No, but this and... this is good because this yeah. happens to all of us. Yeah. yeah. This is, and people think it's just them, but oh no, oh contrary. No, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> My sister asked me to put some uh, her name on some luggage, and I didn't realize how strong that cricket, strong mm. and he cricket was. one is. Yeah. Oh Lovely. my goodness! Yeah. Needless to say, I wound up throwing it away because I never could get the stuff off. Right. <laughs> mm. And then I hate it sometimes when you can't get the stuff off of the transfer tape. That's another yeah. issue. Yeah, that's um. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, as well. Uh -oh. Between, oh, between using my pokey tool as well to try and pokey tool push it down, yeah. Right. All right. So, Linda, we're back to look at your uh, solo to look at your tools because Jones says, "Linda, you crack me up." <laughs> With those scissors, I'm not sure. I want to. I want to give you a tip. Okay, I use these little. Um, before I show you the scissors, okay. I needed to. Um, I needed to use a piece of acetate, so I'm, I'm constantly losing it. So I put after I cut it out, I put a little um, oh. piece of paper on it. Um, what are they called? Um, post-it note. Yeah, yeah post-it post note. note. Yep, there it is. Smart. That's a anyway. good tip. That's oh, a good tip. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here's the. Um, here, these, you know, these might be craft scissors. I think I have salad ones. Stands. Yep, this is these are Martha Stewart. Ah, here we go. Pretty wow. cool. So, I guess you can make everything really perfectly. The or you can side. go like shorter as well. Yeah, and have smaller bits of grass and yeah, yeah. 
And nice. you could probably cut a different height. It could be a hula skirt. Yeah. <laughs> Can make confetti. Looks like you're making confetti I'm now. Making mess. I'm making a mess. <laughs> it makes you're sense. making a mess. <laughs> Save some time. Wait a minute. Call to one. This is gonna make you laugh. Right. Uh oh. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh, that is the gadget queen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> she is. Oh my word. I saw those scissors yesterday. I was looking at Hobby Lobby and was looking at their scissors. And uh, David, my husband, picked them up and he said, Here's some. I said, My God, it's got eight blades. What do I need them for? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> now I know to make grass. And now you need the little vacuum cleaner that goes with. Yeah. Oh. But look, Linda, show us that little tub of stuff with your, you have all the little eggs and then you have all that other jazz. That you oh, must have I, just, it. I just got on a basket kick. Look at these cute little baskets I cut oh. out. Aren't they precious? Uh, yeah. yeah. This is all creative fabric. Uh, you know? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, yeah. they are. They're really pretty. I was going to get a manicure because my, uh, I'm going to do that next time. Oh jeez! My nails, my hands are so ugly. <laughs> oh stop! <laughs> we wasn't even looking. We was looking at the Easter baskets. Good. <laughs> and of course, when you put something on a magnifying glass, it's going to look different, and that's what it's like because your screen is so close. Well, you know what? I had to redo this um, fence because the bunny. My when I show you the the original the, the prototype. Push them up. The, um, there you go. The bunny looked like it was a unicorn bunny. Oh, it was so funny looking. It had a, like part of the fence uh, post right in the middle of the Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, golly. Look at that thing. I swear you need to like cut all your pieces out and sell them in little kits that we could all work with you and put them together. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be fun? Let's do that. Yes. Yes, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's fun to arrange all these things. Figure out where you want which egg and which direction and oh, if you want it in the grass or outside or you know, it's just uh so much fun. All right guys, two eggs or three? <laughs> three. No, I don't know. Let's see. Push it up. One more. Do you have a smaller one to put in front of those two? Like, how about the baby? There. Do you have a blue one? I do. <laughs> cool, cool, she does. <laughs> you want that blue one or? Nope. No, I like that other one over there with the polka dot things on it. That's in the thing still. Oh, there might be one there on your. Wait. The one that's in your um little yeah, tub. in your little container. You see it? You like that one too, Bernie? Or am I? Yeah. I think it's pretty color. This one? No. The, no, the that one that's in your little though. plastic tub on your left. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah. It's the same as yeah. that one I just showed you. Ah. you. Like the bigger one? Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah. Stick it down in there. Yeah, yeah. that one. That's okay. it. That's okay. it. Got it. Okay. We're picky, I guess. <laughs> You, you gave us a choice. As bad as me. Yeah. I don't think you you, give, you should never give a crafter a choice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that, Bernie. Uh, right. Okay. There we go. How's it coming along, Jeff? <laughs> well, do you know what I've done? Because I thought I've used the um I've used the stronger uh thing to get it off. And I said, if I stick that on card now, I won't get it off and it'll probably tear it. So I've just got oh a piece God. of acetate and I've stuck it onto acetate so I can put it on my card so that it's. Oh, yeah. Because I thought that way it won't. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Because if I <laughs> if I had tried to stick that on the card, it would have just ripped it off. I know it would. So I stuck it to acetate instead. So now, how are you going to put the acetate on there? Now that <laughs> what I'm going to do is stick glue and, and it's only very fine nozzle glue. And I'm going to stick the glue behind the lettuce so you can't ah, see the glue. OK, it's a, it's a really fine nozzle. So if I just put it behind the letters, I'll get away with right. it. Hopefully. You Good. won't be able to. You won't be able to see it. 
Yeah. Hey, Tina. How are you? <laughs> Tina just joined us, said good morning slash evening. <laughs> like the yeah, good morning, Tina. Very late for, for Stephanie and very, very early for Bernie. <laughs> good evening, Tina. <laughs> and for the rest of us, it's just right. <laughs> That's because baby. your mama bear. I mean, your baby, yes, bear. Yeah. Your baby bear. <laughs> yeah, baby bears was just right. All right, let me get off this. Let's see. I see. Did you, Tina, since you just joined us, I want to show, let you see Bernie's. So, Bernie oh, made so there's the, there's, whoops, turn that down. There's the front of my card. Whoop, that says Happy Easter. So, Tina, my um, three things were nesting shapes blue and twine or ribbon um, and then inside I've got this spinning card and I've used ribbon and the nesting shapes and I think it's fairly blue. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. That's yeah, gorgeous. And I love that you put that foily stuff behind it because you see the reflection. <laughs> yeah. There. Yeah. That's another, yeah. They were cutouts from here. So Tina... This bit here cut out with the um, machine, with the silhouette, and then I just had them left over. So rather than waste them, I've just stuck them on the card on this side. And it's a spins. Okay, while they're still working for a minute, I will go ahead and show you that site that we talked about where Stephanie got all her very cute little bunnies. See if I, I'll get there first and then I'll, I think. Since I figure out which one of these links it is. Okay. Um, okay. So now I got to share my screen. So. Okay. So this is the site that Stephanie got her free little bunnies from. If you look up here at the top, it says create create and craft.com and when you go to create and craft.com at first you'll come to a something that looks like this okay so you just keep scrolling down stephanie told me just keep scrolling 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 until i get down here scroll 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 till it says free downloads and y'all see that right tammy oh yeah yeah, okay, yeah when i click on free downloads then you see all these pictures, and she said there's, I think you said there are hundreds of pages. Stephanie. Oh, there's, well, I don't know about this loads. I got the blossom off there as well, the little rabbits there. There's everything, Christmas, Easter. Oh, um, right. So look at these adorable little bunnies. So just go to download now. And, oh, I've already downloaded this once. So when I open it in my downloads, it looks comes in an Acrobat file. So now I'm going to show you what to do with it in Silhouette. So I'll have to share that screen, probably something else. Let me open a new page. Let's see. Share. There's just one little thing you have to be careful of when you go to sh share it. In silhouette, so I'm going to share a screen again. Got to go to an application. So here we go. Okay, so now you can see my silhouette here and yeah. to, to get these little bunnies i've already opened them up here but to get them to use them you'll go to file and open obviously yeah file so on my computer it happens to look like this on the right hand side east or something or other so when i click on that it comes in like this this box and i don't i don't Import mine as a vector, did you, Stephanie? Yes, yeah, I just clicked OK at the bottom and it came in fine. It fit on the page and it was, but I oh, mean, you can okay. it the way. Because usually I have to do it as an image. Hmm. Import. And, okay, and sometimes just, you have to import these things and it doesn't work if you do it as a vector, but apparently it does with this one. So then all you have to do is to come over here to the trace panel and select and then trace. And obviously, you gotta. I haven't done this beforehand, so now this is almost one of those things where I'm going to make a fool of myself because it's not going to no, work. No, no, right. it, it's right. I just traced it and detached it. I, I filled it right in, and it just you came know, off great. The only thing that's bugging me is see how all those little things. So I've gone. Do you all see that? That little bit of noise around here. 
So yeah. I must have to change my threshold down a little bit. There we go to get rid of that. But I wanted this part to be, see this? I'm, I can't believe you didn't have any trouble with that little bit right there. Um, no, I did. I did. I did do it quite high, but then I, I put a tiny offset around it and it smoothed it out. Okie dokie. So that's what you have to do. Okay. So did you put the offset on before you traced? Well, after you traced it, I guess. Uh, after I traced it, yeah. So what she would do now is then trace and detach because she's going to use it as a print and cut. So then we can move this thing out of here because see that we don't need anymore. And this right here, look at that. You can see that you can see through it. But that you see down here in the lower right hand corner. But once you put an offset around that, uh, come over here to the offset panel and say offset. And I don't, she probably didn't put that anywhere near that big of an offset. No, I, around. I, I did. All point, it was either 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. Oh, okay. um, 0 0.04 or 5. I can't think it was I. just a very fine. Uh, okay. Um, so if she does this 0 0.45, let's say apply. And what I would do now is I would probably go ahead and change that offset to white. Here's one issue that I do have right here. Did you have this, Stephanie? Or um, did it not yeah, I think I, I, I actually released the compound paths and welded Correct. it. Okay, so what she needed to do then was to go to object, um, release the compound path, and that puts a little a square around each of these, and then she could just weld it. And then those no longer show up, and she can put these back together like this, grab them both, and center them. With that one. And then she would just go to, uh, well, she probably had to resize it too. Uh, maybe not. Then you would just go to send. Well, no, let's go back to design. So what she would have to do first is to go ahead and print this. But before she did that, I guess I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial on this, but what you'd have to do if you are printing this right from um, Silhouette is that you would have to change, whoopsie, oopsie, you would, but I'm trying to move that over and it's not, what the heck, this, I want to move this part of the page over, there we go. So what you would have to do if you were going to do a print and cut of this using Silhouette is you would have to come up here and come to the third third button over so you could turn on your registration marks and then whoopsie I'll need to do this undo and then if you're like Linda what you probably did was you group these and you make a whole mess of them right Linda all different <laughs> different sizes and and you can um, duplicate yes. this one and right click on it and flip flip it and do different things and you'd make a whole mess of these or get some of these other little gals or are these all the same this whole four pack might be the same. Yeah, they're all the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so then after she gets that, yes. Could yeah. you bring them in the other way to see if you can get a better oh to would see it make a it difference? Is, I don't know if it does because I've always done it like that and that's what I was taught to yeah, do. Yeah, that's that's the way the way other way. That's the way I done it too. I didn't know you could bring them straight in. I mean some of them you can't. You don't have import, a you know no, no some of them you cannot. Now see this one here if I say import as an image I do want to make sure that I up the DPI or dots per inch. And that determines how sharp and clear the image is. So I don't know if my image would end up better if I did it this way. I'll do it like this once. Oh, yeah, because I never tried that. It might be better. I, I don't know. You know, are yours really, really sharp? Um, Maybe it just depends on if you're making them larger or not. Yeah, no, no, they seem okay. But you might get better edge on that. I don't know. No. So that's something that we can test. I've just known, or in my past, I've been taught that you should do it this way. But maybe with all the, um, you know, refinements that Silhouette makes all the time, it might not matter anymore. So let's see if I go to 99 again and just say, trace and detach. Okay. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to right click on it and say copy. And I'll bring it over here. Where's that other one? Did I? Here it is. Bring this one in here. Right click and say paste. Okay. She comes in a little bit larger. If I, I wonder if I make this one as big as that one. If we can see any difference with our eyes here. I 
can't really see any difference if this one's pixelated or not. Let's scroll way in. And again. They both look really good. Yeah, they look good. This one, this one's eye might look just a hair blurrier. See that than this one? Mm, that other one does look a little bit clearer, yeah. Yeah. Bit. So and this one's not quite as big as that one. So even if we make it even bigger, that's where this one will start getting blurry. If you want to make this one bigger, see how it's getting blurrier and blurrier. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one should not, since I had it at such a number of pixels, it should stay no, pretty that is, sharp. That is clear. Yeah, that is really sharp. That's clear. Yeah, definitely. So that's one thing to remember. If you are going to make your image larger, then do it the second way that, that we showed so that you bring it in as a lot of DPI pixels per inch, okay, or dots per inch, I should say, because then you can stretch it larger and it doesn't get blurry or pixelated, like the little chunky dots. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Let me stop that. Okay, so we're back. So let's see. Linda, have you finished? I'm almost. Popped it up. It looks like Stephanie's finished. All right, yeah. Steph, let's check I'll it out. I finished mine, yeah. yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> With the little little rabbits on. Um, oh, yes, oh, mine, oh. mine I had to use a cutting machine, which I did to cut out the flower. Oh, the flowers came from that site as well. Um, I used a cutting machine, and I had to make a shaped card, which I made one like a flower pot. Uh, and the colour had to be pink. So I've gone with pink flowers. And okay, so this is the front of the card. This little thing pulls out here outside the card. And then it says Happy Easter with more flowers. And this um, patterned paper was another site called Digi Doodles. Um, and they had quite a lot of free things on there as well. And they, they, these came from a batch of free papers. And there was um, six designs of papers in six colours. So there was 36 free um, free papers as well. So that was another one. So that fits inside there. And then inside the card, I've done Easter Blessings. Oh. So pretty. Thank you. Um, so that's my card. <laughs> I love it. And here again is the, I'll put it in the comments, is the website that Stephanie used where she got her bunnies and her flowers. I'll put a link to that in the chat. So yeah, because there was lots of, there was loads of different things. It's well worth a look. And, and you say it's all free. Yes, and Stephanie told us originally what they had that for was they were selling those, or how did it work, Stephanie? What was what they, they've only started doing it this way. They sell dyes, because obviously it's a shopping channel, and it does broadcast in the US as well as the UK, um, and it's different companies. One, I think, is Stephanie Waitman, is most of them, um, and they make dyes, and dies that would cut these shapes out because there's lots of different things so you would buy the die and then they would give you a link to go to the download and then you could download and print it as often as you wanted but over the last few months they've changed it they've actually started just putting the um the images in the download for you to download them so obviously people are, are buying the dies to do it but we can use it with our machines and you could even fussy cut some of them if you you know if you haven't got a machine and the, and the great thing about our machines is we can resize them to any size we want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's lots of really pretty flowers, you know, different flowers. There's a geisha girl there. And it, you don't just get sort of the image. You would get sort of the little house and, you know, background things. as well. There's, it's really well worth a look at. That's a great tip. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay. Linda, have you finished? I think I'm finished, except I have to ask you guys, should I put this pink glitter butterfly on here or not? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. 
Jesus. That is beautiful. Thank you. Here's that side. I got a little bee. Oh, oh my gosh. <sighs> I just Your cards stars. are like, what can you find? Like, you've got hidden yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Where's the butterfly? <laughs> Where's the bee? Where's the... <laughs> mm, so cute. And it smushes down to go in an envelope, I assume. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, okay. Oh, you got your butterfly. Oh. Okay, ready? Yeah, here's here's how it does. Uh, oops. <laughs> Oh, and here's the envelope I made to make it look like an Easter basket. Oh, oh beautiful. So, um, anyway, yes, it goes flat this way or this way. Mm -hmm. And this is this uh, little happy Easter sign. This has, um, oops, oopsie daisy, acetate. It's like a little acetate um, holder. Oh. And I also use the acetate to hold the bunny. See? Just a, so now, my, is it holding them out or something? Uh, yeah, it, it holds them out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. See? Oh, it's now my, we can. Yeah. 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 It's, oh. So, yeah, it's, um, I had dimensionals, which I used a lot. I popped right. out a lot of things. <laughs> I popped out the sun and the bunny and the other bunny and the, um, and the cross. And that, that was enough. <laughs> The stenciling was kind of sparse. I only stenciled this back mat back here. It's kind of like a funky grass, kind of a a nouveau grass with lace yes. up. <laughs> and then um, what was the other thing I had? Dimensionals, stencils, and embossing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the embossing was um, here and the clouds. So. And don't forget. That's beautiful. That cross is gorgeous. Thank you. Steph. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really. So, pretty. where did you get your bunnies and where did you get your cross? The cross, um, here's the cross. I've had this oh, the, for one of your I've things. Oh, it's a die. Nice. It's a die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I could all, sh you know what I could do for this die? I could um, put the die in black ink and maybe try to put it on a piece of paper and run it through my scanner to make a. Could. Try. Oh. And oh, here, here are the bees. I had lot. I always had lots and lots of bumblebees. <laughs> so cute. They're just you. Just want to like, have them. Did you pet. buy those or did you make them? Oh, I made these a long time ago. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't make them. I cut them out. Well, that's I what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I get, I sent. I think I sent you guys some. Remember a long time so. ago? Not me. Yeah, no. I've got them. <gasps> I didn't get any. I no, I, I did. <laughs> I'll send you some. Okay. <laughs> send me a care package. <laughs> yeah, if anybody, maybe what I could do if you like this card, I could, um, because I just took pieces of other cards to make this. I took my um, St. Patrick's Day card because it had this, this arched back, and um, I just measured it, and um. To, I, I was doing subtracting and some um, sizing down so I could make these um, the, the trim, the, hol the um, holographic trim, and then the white border. Mm -hmm. So sort of put you in the mind of a rainbow too around them, like right? Yeah, that holographic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like the little um, brads on my um, fence post. These were that translucent nouveau oh, top, oh. and it's called. Um, it's so, I just love the color. It's called, what's it called? I can't find it. Shoot. Oh, it's called um, key lime. Oh wow! Beautiful. Oh. Just gorgeous, Linda. Well done. Thank yeah, you beautiful. very much. For and, and T, now tie in just a sec. We're going to have, um, well, let me exit this, have Bernie show hers again, and then I'll tell you what that was about. So mine is blue, the nesting shapes, ribbon and twine. So that's just print and cut, and I put glitter, glitter glue on, which is just glitter in glue, and it just dries. So I, I actually coloured that in last night so it would be dry this morning because otherwise it gets all smudgy. And then inside, oh, yeah. I've spun my, whoop, there it goes. So oh, you wind it up before you close the card and just spins. 
it's oh, beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. 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 And I think it was Tina, maybe someone had asked about the um, grain ribbon. They, they thought it was this one? right? But it's a uh, ribbon. No, right? this is ribbon. Uh, I've thrown the other bits in the bin. Oh, hang on a tick. I'll get them out of the bin. <laughs> I had to clean up while I was. Yeah. It's just ribbon. Okay, yeah. Aww. And I just threaded it through. So I cut little rectangles in the card here. So I had 10 rectangles. I just oh. measured the width of the ribbon and then just cut through my, with the silhouette, I just put them on the page and there's 10 and I just threaded it through and then glued them underneath oh, wow. the card. I was wondering I how you did that. I, I did think it's so cute. Listen to Linda. And it's because she wasn't able to watch you when you were showing us in the beginning because she was busy making her own cards. So this is yeah. kind of nice that we get to tell again. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, so it's just, I just, couldn't work out how I had actually made squares and Nick said to me, no, you need little rectangles to thread through. So I took just a little bit of trial and error and it had to be an even number so that the two bits of ribbon could fold under the card and I could glue them down. So how, how no, that's brilliant. is that? Can you, how, what's the size of your card, Bernie? Uh, six by six. Okay. But these bits are four and a half because this aperture here in the middle is five, I cut that at five and then it's got half inch underneath it where these this part is sitting on top of the right. um fold and then they're two inches. So that's two and that's four, half an inch and half an inch is five. Okay. And the height And is then these bits were four and a half. Okay. Okay. So the height is six, yeah. Okay. Yeah, height six and these cross bits is four and a half. And I just worked out the so this bit's four and a half. And I just did 10 and then divide them evenly between the right. spaces. Oh, thank you so much for doing that. I'm definitely going to try that probably later this week. I oh, think awesome. you girls are mathematicians. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you don't because you um, in silhouette you've got that part where you I put all them and then it says to space them vertically or horizontally. Right. So I put 10 and then I let silhouettes space them between that. that oh. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's on the part where it's got the um the center left right all up there. Yeah. It's just got, yeah you can right. the alignment says, tool. Yeah, yes. and it says yeah, space them vertically or horizontally. Oh, that is right. so cool. I just love that. Mm. So I did one and then welded it, uh grouped it and then duplicated it for up there. So I didn't do two separate ones. Mm-hmm. I thought that might be too tricky. <laughs> and then I, um, yeah, then it just cut it out. Mm. Bernie, we yeah. have a ribbon, a ribbon store in Maryland, and um, I was telling Tammy about it. You can buy, uh, like, a big, huge spool of ribbon, like satin, maybe a quarter of an inch, an inch, inch and a half, maybe 100 yards. For um, Sometimes they run specials for, like, $1. I cannot believe it. Wow. Wow. Mm. But that's a. Um, I'm gonna have to go get some of that ribbon and show you. I've got little, a few little care packages put together. I'm gonna be sending out. Mm. I love Done. it. It's so pretty. Thank you for explaining your um, your you know the ribbon um, element on that. Oh, card. That's okay. Thank you. It's beautiful. Mm. Okay, right. and I will show Stephanie. So solo Steph one more time. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> well, mine was a template that I got free online to do the shape of um, a flower pot. <laughs> I then cut it out again in, um, it's a white, I just did a white base. I cut it out again in the brown card um, and then cut that in half and embossed that. And um, you can't see I don't know, you can see, can you oh, see? Yes, oh, no, I can't. Yes. Yeah, I embossed that, stuck it on the top, but only stuck it down the sides and at the bottom so that it would leave a gap so that I could slip this inside. Then I cut another piece out in the pattern cardstock, again, the full size and cut it in half. Um, I got this on, on um, clip art. I looked for Easter images. I used my die cutting machine to do the border 
um, and also my die cutting machine to do this one with the little tiny border here. Beautiful. The gold underneath is just wrapping paper um, that I bought once, uh, in which, you know, it's, it's quite cheap in rolls and it just makes sort of, you know, I could put a layer underneath to give it a little bit of shimmer. Mm. Um, the cross was one that I um, I cut out probably for Easter cards about four or five years ago and like Linda with the bees, I've probably got a dozen or so, so I thought I would use that. Um, the flowers, what I did, I didn't do them flat. They started flat, but I used a bowl tool and the mat to sort of give them a little bit of dimension so they was so they were raised up they weren't completely flat um, and, and did they start as print and cut stephanie they were print and cut and as they i just yep. put them on there just to give them a little bit more shape rather than yep. them being completely flat and then i used dimensionals to raise them up the little rabbit that's peeping over the side i just used some dies that i had um, apart from the little feet now i haven't got a die that was that but I have a die that's um, a circle that's got little holes in it. Fancy. So I, I actually cut that out and then used the little waste bits that came out to do the feet. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. That's <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, love this fabulous. Where did you get that tool? Um, I, I've got three or four of them. I haven't used it yet. I think all of crafters are probably guilty of that. I bought um, a foam flower, a foam flower making kit from Crafters Companion, which included the foam, some dice for cutting them out, uh, stamens, and these. And to be honest with you, I haven't used it yet, so I am going to have a go and make some flowers with it. It's a foam that you actually cut them out with the dies, and then you put them on your iron for a couple of seconds to heat them up before you take them off and mold the shapes. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I bought it months ago and I haven't got around to using it yet, but I'm going to have a go. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> okay, so the other thing was for the camera or for what was shown up in the very beginning, we had gotten this egg basket. Uh, Stephanie and Tammy and I had gotten the pattern for this and we're just going to get together this week live um, and we're going to make this basket together just because we like to craft together sometimes mm -hmm. so if anybody else wants to get the basket there was the link for it that I posted up there and you can join us live yeah. and it'd be fun something for us to do in these dreary it's dreary here anyway I think it's going to get better yeah, this too. week but it's been mm -hmm. very dreary and so we need you know a reason to get together and play and just encourage each other because i don't know about you guys he's so cute there's a guy and a girl of course you could easily make her into a guy you know what day what day y'all want to do it um, I, I don't mind i like tuesdays or thursdays myself okay tuesdays or thursdays work for me as well me too no, fine with me what time earlier the better for stephanie <laughs> <laughs> well, for bernie it's not if bernie's going to join us oh, that's right. oh bernie i'm sorry oh. that's okay if yeah i'm okay i'll just see how you tell me and i'll work out if i can join or not oh gosh how about tuesday let me look on my calendar at let me see tuesday oopsie no no cancel or y'all be looking too if see if there's something that's going on in your life that you can't do it Tuesday. Tuesday. I don't have anything going on on Tuesday. Is that April 2nd? No, yeah. that's that's March 30th. Okay. Tuesday, <laughs> March 30th. Linda, at, you like Tina, me. Or for you? <laughs> I'm a mess. Yeah, and Tina, I thought it'd be really cute even if you worked or something like that, you know, to make a basket for somebody to put on their desk just for fun. I just put Cadbury eggs and I was laughing when we first started because these things have got shrunk. They shrank, shrank, shrank. Yes, shrunk I think over the years. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I put Cadbury eggs in there. You could put some of these things in there too. Hershey Kisses or those little foily eggs. I don't know, whatever. But it's just cute. Oh, and look, he's cute on the butt too. I didn't do, oh, and I didn't do him exactly right. I messed up a couple of places. You'll find if you do it again, like there was supposed to be pink here too and something else on his little tail on his yeah. butt. But you know, usually the first time you go through some stuff, you kind of mess up. It's your prototype. But anyway, so Tuesday at what time you guys? 
Well, Stephanie usually does her tea at what time, Steph? Um, I'm usually making my tea around about five o'clock, which is probably is that eleven o'clock for you, or ten or eleven. Oh no, I'm confused. Wait a minute, I'm getting like the other way. <laughs> I know if, if Stephanie and I are going to chat, we usually do it around two my time, which would be three your time. So actually, the same time same as time. this is when yeah. when it's good for Stephanie. Right. Usually. Yeah, and that's that's seven o'clock in the evening for me, and that's usually fine. So and by the way, if y'all are wondering about Stephanie, Stephanie and her tea, that means her dinner. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. Tea, yeah. it's her dinner. They call it the tea. <laughs> Just post it, Patty Ann, and if I can join, I'll join. If I can't, I can't. I'll play, right, I'll play I'll catch really up. Post it that most people would see it. Probably on it, the Facebook page. Okay. Which which there are three. Well, what about this we'll we'll i'll send you a message bernie yeah sure okay so if i can join i'll join. join too and what should we do it on Streamyard? and more people can join if they would like to or should we do it on oh no we can only have a certain number on if we do it on zoom yeah if we got it on zoom more people could come in right yeah what do you guys we can figure that? all that out mm -hmm. all right. Look at Linda. She was her I little crimping tool. You know what That's I was just thinking, roll. Patty Ann? Yeah. I was looking at your crinkled, um, I was looking at your crinkled um confetti Stuff. in your basket, your straw. And right. look at if we use it, we could probably make our own with one of these tools. Oh yeah, you could. You crinkle it first. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh I, oh you can't crinkle, you can't go down too far. Oof. Oh, let me, if I do it slow, maybe. No, nah, can't go down. It doesn't matter because it would still be in here. This here that I bought was just from the dollar. Yeah, the I've dollar got some from the dollar. Right you could here. do a cross window and oh. then go up again. Like cut it then across with normal scissors and then start again. You could, you could do it in your shredder as well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I use, I or you use could use that other kind of stuff that they have, that yeah. other cellophane-y like stuff. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to mess up my card shop because it's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Right. Do they have it this year again? I bought mine last year. I'm sure they Yeah, they do. I've seen it. Where? What are you talking about, Tammy? The grass you can get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. The sh the raffia paper top stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Not to not have it in all colors. Not the plastic, right? No, no it's paper. No. It's oh, paper. Good. It's like, um, like tissue plastic. Paper. Hmm. Okay. All righty okay. then. All right. Here's my other one. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. See you next okay. time. Yeah. Oh, wait. There's, there's another. Oh, look Thank at that you. one. Freaking, she put a bow on her little head. I forgot <laughs> the bow. <laughs> oh, my Aww. gosh. No, I thought one this? with a boy and one with a girl. That's right. I, I think it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. And look, this is that shimmer pink. See? Yes. That, it's, it's called, it's, this is, it's right here. Right. Oh. Okay, Linda, you have to do this thing too. And you have to show us how we can jazz it up also. Oh gosh. There's your, your, there's your <laughs> assignment. You have a question, Linda. What's Did that? you use a box card pattern or make your own? I made my own. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, oh, and I wrote the measurements down. Oh. Kind of odd. They're kind of odd. It's like three eighths, and I made so many of these. I I can I guess I could write them down on the site if you guys want. Oh yeah. And I could also put these um this back the oh the um the three sizes of you know for the uh, back of this card if you want me to give you that file. Um. Maybe we could put it on Patty's blog. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. All righty then. Bye, yeah. everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Nice seeing Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> See you in two weeks.